So how has this reduction in sales and marketing spending impacted free cash flow rates, right? Well, quite significantly when we look at the data, we can see that free cash flow margins are up from 14% in Q2 of 23 to 22% in Q2 of this year. That's a 57% increase over the last two years. And again, when we look at this on an individual company basis, we can see there's clearly a trend towards higher rates of free cash flow generation. Only two companies that we track reported negative free cash flow margins in Q2 of this year. That was Sentinel One and SEMrush. That was compared to eight companies in Q2 of 23. Now the companies that moved out of negative territory into positive territory over the last two years, that was Box, they've gone from negative one to 15%, which is a pretty significant move. Confluence gone from negative 19 to 4%. Appian's gone from negative 12 to 26. Procore from negative 10 to three. Figma from negative seven to 24, which is a big turnaround, and MongoDB from negative six to 12%. Now, again, this isn't necessarily a trade-off that these companies want to make, right? They'd much rather continue to invest in sales and marketing while generating higher rates of ARI growth. But when ARI growth slows, they have no choice but to generate higher rates of free cash flow margin, right? But at the end of the day, this is one of the strengths of SaaS as a business model, right? You've got massive flexibility built in because most of these companies are operating with gross margins of 75% or more, right? And that means that there's a bunch of discretionary spending in their budget that they can reallocate or save in order to generate higher rates of free cash flow, right? We need to generate more free cash flow. Cool. We'll just spend less on sales and marketing. We'll spend less on R&D. We know that we're only, you know, spending 20 to 25% of revenue on cost to serve, right? And so that means we've got a bunch of flexibility around how we engineer the finances in order to give the market what it wants.